Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Great Scott and Movie Watch. I'm Scotty V. Thanks for watching. I'm going to talk about some of the new costume changes that everybody seems to be all in a tizzy over online. Um, what we see is a darker suit, uh, possibly uh, the missing S based on some grainy cell phone pictures from the back of the cape. If you look here at a version of Brandon Routh's costume from the most recent incarnation of Superman on screen, Superman Returns, there was no S on the cape. You can't tell from this interpretation, but the cape was kind of a rubbery f fabric, uh, whereas the rest of the suit was a more uh, skin-tight, uh, maybe uh, scuba diving type of thing. Uh, it was made up of little S's, which is something that hasn't been done before. There were S's all over the suit in many different places. The boots themselves had much uh, different look to them. They have different lines, different separations. They're not just a smooth boot that maybe Christopher Reeve would have wore. You can see on his chest that the S is very, very tiny. It was also raised and in 3D format. And his belt also has an S on it. The briefs that are present are cut much shorter and hang much lower. And uh, there were many, many complaints about this uniform when the first pick was released. His hair, too, was much like a cap. It was so, so uh, imbued with gel. And it was such a solid piece on his head that it didn't move. Um, it was a little cartoony, I guess, to some. It was a little much. He does have the spit curl, which at the moment might be missing from Henry Cavill's new look. Some of the pictures that have been showing up online uh, have been taken clearly from a cell phone from many, many yards away, are blurry. You can't really tell exactly what's going on. By looking at the picture, it could be an actual shot of Henry Cavill. It could be a stuntman. They could be doing lighting checks. They could be testing anything. Uh, the, the thicker thighs he seems to have, I've heard people complain about he shouldn't look like a stuffed sausage or an overstuffed sausage. First of all, Superman should be muscular. His legs could be big. Um, and I think that if that is the look, it's going to be okay. But it could also be just some of the digital pixels out of shape or some of the glow from the sun making the making the legs stand out more or some of the muscles look even bigger um, we're getting a digital breakdown and a blurriness from a picture that far away we don't know exactly that this is the embodiment of what the costume will look like here we have a more silver age representation of what superman looks like a very light blue more like the christopher reeve films the s very simple very different and of course he has the s on the back of the cape now, uh, the problem with a uniform like this, with the trunks being so big and so wide, it looks, it looks like a muscle man from the early days of comic books, which is what some of the looks were based on back then. Uh, but also, with the light colors, he, he, he looks a little bit less acceptable to some of the younger audience, and, and I think that it's harder to pass off someone in such a bright, colorful uniform with a blue much closer to baby blue than in the colors now. Now with Brandon Routh's costume we did see a darkening of the blue and of the red. Uh, the red was more like a maroon and people were complaining about that. If you look at this representation here now to my left you can see that the blue is darker much closer to the new blue in the Henry Cavill uniform and that the red is still red. The S is extremely large on the chest as it is on Henry Cavill's uniform and on the Cavill uniform, the S is 3D uh, in design. It pops out. I personally like this look. Now, what is getting me down most is that uh, Superman fans are kind of a weird bunch. A lot of times, they'll they'll they're quick to jump to conclusions. Uh, they're quick to make judgments on something before they've really delved into it or have really enough information. These two things are completely counterproductive and counteractive to what Superman himself believes. Never be quick to make a snap judgment, never make a decision without thinking about it, and always give things their due time and consideration before deciding that you don't like something or that you've made up your mind. Uh, what I hear a lot is, uh, this look that I see on Cavill and these grainy photo shots from far away doesn't look like a Superman I want to see, so I won't be going to the film. Or, I'm calling for a boycott. Or, this isn't Superman or boy this is such a joke or how boy have they ruined my my man of steel this is gonna suck 
and and so many times I hear this movie's gonna suck and we really have no no basis to make that kind of a statement on do I think this movie is going to blow everything else away and going to be fantastic I don't know I have no reason to know that yet nothing has come out there's been a very very small synopsis a synopsis that really could be used in any version of the Man of Steel and very little has come out by way of pictures there's only been one official photo and it's really not enough to make my decision. Uh, I've tried to be uh, very understanding, and I understand it's hard to accept change, but it's got to happen in order for characters to move forward, and the minor changes to the uniform that we've seen so far are nothing that we can't get over, and there's a good chance this movie could be fantastic. Let's give it its due. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and remember, always look up in the sky.